Hello, Southside. I hope your Thursday is going well. Today, I want to talk about podcasts. I had someone give me a text message about doing podcasts on this particular episode, and I, I thought that was a fantastic idea. We've moved away as a culture from, from blogging, but for the most part in the age of YouTube and, and podcasting, we've moved away from, from the written blog more to a podcast um, kind of a vlog, a video blog, kind of a format where you sit down and talk to somebody and, you know, you get up your information that way. Um, I, I love podcasts, love listening to podcasts, but the problem with podcasts is that as opposed to even even five to ten years ago, a relatively short time of, of uh, in terms of media, there are millions of podcasts available now. When when podcasting first began, and it was kind of a, a little niche kind of a thing, you know, kind of an experimental type of thing. Now today, podcasting is a for real thing that's very monetized and, and very, very popular. Access it really easy on smartphones. And really, that's, that's where podcasting got real huge over the format of uh, smartphones and YouTubing. And that, that form really blew up. Uh, in that type of environment. So there's millions of podcasts now where before there was maybe a dozen. And, you know, you, you have your really big podcast. You know, you got your Joe Rogan podcast. You have your NPR at first. You've got your uh, the Daily New York Times and you know, your Ben Shapiro type of uh, podcast, which are actually massive and get millions and mil millions of views and listens every single week. Uh, what you have to do in kind of filtering through podcasts is define you know what you're looking for rather than just what's a good podcast and kind of shooting in the dark. Just as there's hundreds of television channels, there's millions of, of podcasts with hundreds of different topics. So today, what I want to narrow it down to is uh, you can you can split it since this is the type of podcast that's going to be going on on the church website between. A church or a Christian web uh, podcast and a secular. We're not going to be dealing with those. We're not going to be dealing with non-Christian podcasts. Just strictly Christian podcasts. And on top of that, what I want to split it into, and this this is actually going to be a multiple uh, cover to cover because you can't just cover it all in two or three minutes. And I kind of want to go into de detail with other podcasts that are beneficial to us. I want to kind of split it into long form podcasts and short form podcasts. Short form podcasts being really what you listen to on the way to work. 15 minutes, you know, or I take that back, one minute to about a half an hour. That's that's what I deem a short form podcast. A long form podcast is anything from, you know, 31 minutes to, you know, two or three hours if need be. So what I want to focus on today are more on the end of short-form podcasting. And the first one that I listen to almost every day, not every day, is um, The Briefing by Al Mohler. I listen to that almost every day. Uh, it's, it's a short-form podcast, usually clocks in between 22 and 25 minutes. Really good if you have a short drive to work or a relatively short drive to work here in town. If you go to work and back, you're going to be able to listen to it. covers all the, the hot-button issues of the day, and as he says, he covers them from a Christian worldview. So if you're looking for the issues of the day but looking for uh, how we are to understand it and process it as Christians, highly um, recommend the briefing by Al Mohler. He's the president of Southern Seminary, where I graduated from and where Lori graduated from. Really experienced broadcaster, I think, in my opinion. He knows how to condense all the, the news and make and make it palatable for, you know, a short-form podcast. Uh, the other one that I want to recommend, since I was a former youth pastor, I used to listen to this a lot, and I'm still interested in youth culture. I think just because you're the senior pastor doesn't mean that your youth ministry days are over. And if you're a parent, I highly recommend this podcast. It, actually, there's, there's two different podcasts that come from the same uh, platform, I guess I should say, platform company, whatever you want to call it, from the Center for Parent Youth Understanding, the CPYU. Um, there's one called Youth Culture Matters, and that, that's, a, that's a long-form podcast, about an hour where they have guests on and they talk about issues related to youth culture, issues related to youth and the culture. If you work with the youth or you're the youth pastor of your church, or if you work... In any way with youth, if you have grandkids that are teenagers, 
kids that will will be teenagers or are teenagers really beneficial. If you just love kids, really beneficial. They'll tackle issues like you know drugs, internet pornography, um, social media, things that are you know long form podcasts, and they'll they'll bring in an expert on those, and and not just people who think they're experts. They bring in real uh, credentialed experts to talk about you know, what's going on in youth culture today. People who are in the academic world, people who are in the practicing world that deal with strictly youth uh, youth issues. And so that's really beneficial. Another one is the short form podcast from the same uh, platform, Youth Culture Today. Uh, and it has, it's a, it's a one minute kind of short burst. If you want to listen to something real quick, get a quick blurb about it, it it'll tackle a new show, it'll tackle you know, an, an issue and, and really condense it down to one minute, kind of give you a, an extremely Cliff's Notes version of what's going on in that area. I highly recommend that particular podcast. If you're looking for sh- very short bursts, you can listen to them. And, and the benefit of that is you can download, you know, 15 of those and get a whole bunch of content in a very short amount of time. I highly recommend that one. Also, if you're looking for humor, Looking for the Babylon Bee. It's a satire website that you're probably aware of if you're a Christian. And they they, they write these short form, yeah, kind of like the Onion is in the, in the quote secular world. They kind of write satire from a Christian point of view. And it's 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 kind of cute and funny. But they also have a website, uh, a podcast where they do uh, funny things like that. If you're into satire, if you're into kind of a humorous, lighthearted uh, long form podcast, the Babylon Bee is the way to go. I think the last one they put out was an interview with the guy who does the voice of Larry the Cucumber on Veggie Tales, and talking about how he got that job and you know the history of what went into developing Veggie Tales and where it is now. You know, just fun stuff. Very casual, lighthearted. Um, and they, they've got a little bit to go in terms of how they publish it. There's a little bit of you know wonkiness, a little bit with the sound, a little bit, but if you're wanting something casual, not too polished and produced, I, you know, go go for the Babylon Bee. It's pretty good. Uh, I also recommend Signpost by Russell Moore. He's the president of the Ethics and Liberty Commission, Religious Liberty Commission of the Southern Baptist Convention. He is more on the political scale. He'll have, you know, a, a, a state representative on there or the governor or, you know, political people and deal with political issues or he'll deal with music, you know. And uh, it's, it's a really uh, interesting podcast. Kind of a short form, too long form. It, it can be from 20 minutes or it can be up to an hour. It really goes from where uh, where the topic goes and, and how interested the, the, the producer is and how interested the, uh, the person being interviewed is on how long it is. Um, also, just, just to throw this in the corner, most pastors, uh, larger pastors, larger churches have podcasts. Most of the people that you would end up liking that have national platforms have podcasts or podcast their sermons online in one way or another. So I would recommend if you like somebody, go to your smartphone app wherever you get um, smartphone app and get the the person whoever you like. You know, if you like um, Max Lucado, he has a podcast. If you like this person, he has a podcast too. It, it, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of different podcasts with a lot of different niche that go into that. If you like certain types of theology, there's podcasts there. Um, just search it out. You can really just type your niche into the search bar and it's going to bring up podcasts because there's millions of podcasts. That's where I'm going to stop today. I can go on on, on other things, but I'm kind of wanting to save those for other episodes. So uh, check those out. Tell me what you think. Drop a like in the, in, in the post. Give me a comment about what podcast you think would be interesting to review. If you want me to listen to a podcast and, and tell you what I think about that before you dive into it, more than welcome to do that, more than willing to do that. Let me know what you think. Share this post if it's been beneficial to you, and we'll see you again next time for more information and suggestions about podcasting. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.